Look what we have found, everybody. <laughs> Three big buffalo bulls. Oh, isn't this just great? It's actually a lovely view of them. These are three old, or, or what are often referred to as Dugger boys. And Dugger is quite an interesting word. Uh, the Dugger boys, which is a word or term used for these big old buffalo bulls. And Dugger comes from a Zulu word, Mdaga, and that is a Zulu word for mud. And it's because these big buffalo bulls often like to wallow in mud, they like to roll around and basically cover their skin with mud, it pro helps protects it, protect their skin, it helps cool them down, it gets rid of ticks and fleas that sit on them, and, um, and that's why they have the, the name Dugger Boys. You can see them chewing the cud there, so they've probably been feeding during the morning, they've come to get some water, and now they're just resting and chewing the cud, as ruminants do. Now for those of you who are unsure uh, what ruminants are, ruminant is an animal that has a four-chambered stomach. So they, so they, um, they basically chew or feed feed on grass or vegetation, swallow it, and then it goes into the first chamber of the stomach, mixes with enzymes and digestive fluid. They then regurgitate that food again, chew it and then swallow again. This just helps break down the food very, very well. It's a very efficient digestive system and buffalo are one of the largest ruminants that we have here. And with them chewing the cud like this, you can just see how efficient their digestive, digestive system can be. And especially if you look at the buffalo dung, it's, it's broken down completely. It's not like elephant dung that's very coarse with a lot of plant material in it. It's really, really broken down, similar to that of cow dung or cow pat patties. Patties? Cow patty. Cow pat. <laughs> but this is such a nice surprise. Wonderful big buffalo bulls. Great to see them. And you see those beautiful thick bosses. Now the boss is that middle horn structure that, uh, that you can see there. And the males have got very thick bosses. And the reason for that is because obviously they use it for fighting and for dominance. But what happens and what's interesting is the buffalo bulls, they like to hang around in these small groups, especially the older bulls. And the reason for that is generally herds of buffalo will consist of the females and the younger buffalo. And, and obviously the offspring of the females. Now those herds can range from, from a size of 50 up to four, 500 buffalo. And the reason these buffalo hang around by themselves is those herds will cover huge distances and they'll look for food and water constantly moving around. So these old bulls are clever. They don't like to move around so much. So what they do is they'll find an area where there's food and water and they'll hang around in that area and they'll often um, move in small groups. Sometimes you can find a bull by himself. It's not unusual to find a bull by himself. And the reason they hang around together is obviously for safety. But these bulls, they're the ones who got quite a bad reputation in the bull in the in the bush they um they're quite aggressive and also quite unpredictable now if you ask me if i'm doing a bush walk these are the guys that i'm more cautious of than any other animal if i bump into a buffalo i usually i try to be very very careful you should be careful with all animals but i'd usually try and get out of that area quite quickly and not test the buffalo too much you can view them on foot don't get me wrong you can definitely view them on foot but be very very cautious because the buffalo can be quite as i said unpredictable but isn't it so good to see these big bulls so these bulls We'll probably hang around this area. Oh, Deadhead Tom, you said, oh, it looks like the buff are back. Will the lions be close by? I'm not sure, Deadhead Tom. I mean, these buffalo bulls sometimes, you know, they could have come in um, maybe just uh, from from Biffle's Hook, from north of us, and that area is not too far. Any area where there's probably a big dam, and maybe they just moved around during the course of the night. Um, 
these these big bulls would be quite difficult to hunt now they look like they are in very good condition they look very muscular even though they look old you can see a lot of hair missing around the faces and that and that's from a lot of the flies these biting flies that will they basically um, bite the skin of the buffalo they lose a lot of hair on their face and um, but if you look at them they do still look very muscular and they are so powerful so I don't think these lions uh, the lions in this area would necessarily just try to take on three buffalo bulls um, last year the lions did very well at hunting buffalo but the buffalo were very weak they were not uh, they were not in um, in great condition because of the drought look at that isn't that a lovely scene with that dust as they're all standing now <laughs> I don't know about you but that's quite intimidating seeing these three big buffaloes standing horns out if I was a lion, I'd think twice about going for them. Pisces, Bobby, you say these are massive. They are indeed. You can see they also have quite prominent dewlaps. These these big bulls just under their chin. There's a nice view of that one there. It's got a quite a, um, a low-hanging dewlap, and that again also a sign of age. But we're speaking about back muscles have a look at the muscles on this buffalo's back if you have a look there he's got quite a serious hump and some serious muscle and um, and quite hairy too looks looks a little bit like Tristan's back <laughs> oh dear he's probably gonna beat me for saying that I am only joking of course <laughs> Craig's trying very hard not to giggle behind me. Ah, yes, Jackie, so a good question. You asked if they still mate. They do indeed. So, Jackie, what these bulls... Sorry, I didn't actually get to that. They, the, um, the bulls, even though they split away from the herd and they hang around in small bachelor herds like this, if the herd comes past again, these old bulls are clever. They'll just wait for the herd, wait for the females. If they come past or pick up on their scent or sound, they'll go and meet up with the herd and challenge the younger bulls in the herd, chase them off and try mate with the females for a day or or two and then they'll move off again so they do definitely still mate these males are probably more dominant than some of the males in the herd you do still get probably two or three big dominant males that move around with the herd but if these guys meet up with those younger buffalo they're just too big and powerful and wise I suppose for those younger bulls but that's a great shot look at those two massive buffalo I've got a lot of respect for buffalo. I do enjoy them because they, I think because of their temperament and the, I, I don't know, it just appeals to me. I, I do enjoy them. And have a look at the horns on this one closest to us. You can see how the horn actually curls slightly back. Some seriously sharp horns. And you know, the buffalo have been known to kill lions when lions are trying to hunt them. Those horns can do some serious damage. I've seen footage of them throwing lions up into the air. Uh, I've seen buffalo turn and chase a pride of lions into a tree when the lions are trying to hunt them. See the oxpeckers sitting on the buffalo too. Oxpeckers often on buffalo.